Hey, Mike with Rove Pest Control here. And do you think that you have brown recluse spiders in your home? Well, today's video will be going through how to properly identify a brown recluse spider and show you what they really look like, so stay tuned. We get a lot of samples um, sent to us, people thinking they found brown recluse spiders. There's a few telltale signs for them. The best way to identify spiders is by looking at the eye pattern. And we'll show you here on this sample under a macroscope. Let me get it lined up. You can see the three pairs of eyes there, which is what we're looking for on the brown recluse. It's a little bit hard to see. Um, this one's been dead for a little bit. and. It's got the droplets that are now covering those, but definitely the one on the left you can see is indicative of what the other ones are like. Um, those two eyes just butted up right against each other, and then the triangular pattern of the three of them spread like that. That's going to be what lets us know we've got a brown recluse, and it matches our identification guide, which shows the eye pattern as just that. So with this sample that we got, it is a live spider wanting to know if it's a brown recluse. All things seem to indicate that it is such, but I really want to get a better look at it without just making an assumption off of limited information. So in order to do that, we need to get them outside of the bag. Um, there's a definite shape on the back of them that you're able to see that helps. And and to, to get a good look, we'll also show you how to use a very common product that gets underused quite a bit, which would be the glue board. So these are just boards covered with glue. They usually come with a pattern, you just uh, a top to them, you just peel that off so that the glue is exposed. And you can either fold these up or leave them flat when you're talking about uh, insects or arachnids a good way to do it is to just lay it flat underneath places where you know they're going to be crawling so this can be underneath stoves refrigerators cabinets um, so work for yeah roaches spiders really well and when they crawl across it they'll just get stuck and can't really get away so we're going to turn this spider loose onto the glue board and kind of show exactly how it works and we'll have the stomp method ready just in case it gets away. As you can see, as soon as they crawl right onto it, they are stuck and cannot move. So, try as they might, it is well trapped. And on this one, we'll get in here close now that he's trapped there. And we can see the violin shape there on the cephalothorax that is typical of a violin spider or brown recluse. And if we're able to get in closer, we'd be able to see the uh, six eye pattern, which we can show in an off of another sample that is dead that we're able to get under a Macroscope to really zoom in on there Let me Get a couple different angles here And here you can see the eye pattern. This is the standard eye pattern. We're gonna see for Brown recluse most spiders have eight eyes uh, this you can see the three pairs I have two eyes there, so a total of six. See him doing a little dance as well, but um, it's always in this V or U shape, and they're really close together like that, so you can see this is definitely a brown recluse. And we can see that it definitely got caught by our glue trap. So it's stuck there, and it is definitely not going anywhere. It can dance all at once, but it is stuck. 
Well, as you can see, there's some definite characteristics that brown recluse spiders have compared to other spiders. At the same time though, some of them can be pretty hard to distinguish. So this is another reason why we really recommend reaching out to a pest control service to make sure that they can properly identify what spiders and issues you really do have in your home and then also properly treat for spiders like the brown recluse spider. And so again, if you have specific pest issues like spiders or anything else, feel free to reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And then also as a first time customer with us, you can head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and fill out that form there and get $50 off your first service with us. So if you have spider issues or anything else pest related, definitely head to rovepestcontrol.com. And then once again, to get that great discount as a first time customer, you can head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. But once again, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.